This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone glorify the use of drugs. Yo, what is good? I'm Loki Fish, and in this video, I'm gonna cover the substance called methadone, also known as 4-MMC or MCAT. This is a synthetic stimulant of the amphetamine class and has similar qualities to other stimulants such as MDMA and sassafras. I'll go over the dangers, side effects, history, my own experiences, and much more. Let's get into it. stimulant that is often described as a mix between speed, ecstasy, and cocaine. It was first synthesized in 1929, but did not become widely known until it was rediscovered in the early 2000s. At this point, it was legal to produce and possess in many countries. By the mid-2000s, it was legally sold on the internet, but by the early 2010s, it was made illegal by most countries around the world. The chemical itself is very similar to cathinone compounds found in the cat plant of Eastern Africa. Many people tend to refer to methadone as MCAT or Form MC. Positive effects include euphoria, stimulation, enhanced appreciation for music, elevated mood, and increased empathy. Negative effects include compulsive redosing, insomnia, decreased appetite, excessive sweating, and vasoconstriction. Studies show that methadone induces a massive increase in both dopamine and serotonin. This provides the explanation for the euphoric and stimulating effects induced by this experience. It's been shown to raise dopamine levels by 500% and serotonin levels by nearly 1000%. Preliminary evidence suggests that it may possess cardiotoxic and and neurotoxic properties, especially when combined with other stimulants. It is most commonly taken orally or by snorting it, but some who take it to the extreme may smoke it or inject it. When taken orally, a light dose is around 50 to 100 milligrams, while a common dose is 100 to 200 milligrams. A strong dose is deemed 200 to 300 milligrams or more, or if insufflated, the doses are cut in half. Once ingested, the come up starts around the 10 to 60 minute mark. The effects will last roughly two to four hours once the peak begins. In one study involving people who have had experience with both methadone and cocaine, a significant portion preferred 4-MMC more. There has been a small number of deaths associated with the drug and it is mostly due to compulsively redosing. It's really not that uncommon to start out with a tiny amount only for the user to find themselves doing way more by the end of the night. Those with heart issues are most at risk due to its ability to vasoconstrict blood vessels. Plus, they can be neurotoxic if not careful they're monitoring doses. Personally, I find MCAT to be more euphoric than cocaine, but not as good as MDMA. I'll put it right in the middle between the two. Regardless, it is always advised to use harm reduction practices if one decides to experiment with methadone or related stimulants. These days, MCAT is exceedingly rare and is frequently mistaken for MDMA or MDA. This is due to methadone sharing many similar properties with molly and sassafras. Check out this video next, which will explain everything there is to know about sassafras, also known as MDA. You'd be surprised to learn how similar MDA is to methadone. I'm Lil Keyfish. Peace out.